Hey, welcome back, everybody. Teach Blaze here, hitting Shooter's Blood and Teeth again. Uh, if you remember last time, we defeated the head of the Patriots of the Team Steeler Cult, and then stuff started to crumble around us, so uh, we might have to get right into it this time. So let's get it going. The Cult Uprising. Oh, jeez. I don't like stuff like that. Oh, okay. So am I supposed to stay ahead of it, or... Oh, that just melted me. Or am I supposed to wait? Because you can't run on the fire. I gotta get ahead of it, that's what it is. <laughs> it's actually... Oh, no. I was just saying how easy it was. I want to get that last cannon. Hope everyone's doing well. It's a Saturday morning for me, so it's a little bit early. Uh, I thought I'd get a, an episode in for y'all. Um... That last cannon. This is the last cannon. It's like a giant last gun. Hopefully it's fun to use. Oh, it's gonna be useful on this guy. Come on up. Oh god, there's another one! It's on the one at least. I'm thinking we should switch back from that splitting gun guy. Uh, I don't think it's super useful. Maybe to the bolter in the original. Right? Uh, let's try the bolter again. I like that shotgun. I wonder what else I can do for the rocket launcher. Take the mech shot. None of the none of the pistols have been really cool. Sticky bomb, squig mine. Get Sika missiles. That's pretty good. It doesn't do as much damage though. Give that a try. Oh, well, that wasn't an enemy. That's why it didn't track. I was like, why isn't it tracking? I think I'm supposed to go up there. Let's go down here. Get these teeth, which is their currency. Oh, now I'm on fire. Why am I on fire? It will switch back to the bolter. It's our main weapon. Aha! Uh -huh. The recoil's weird because it'll just jump up randomly. Did you guys just see that new, the new $300 PlayStation controller? I almost bought one because I needed a new controller because I was getting stick drift, but I decided that I'm an adult and I can't waste money on that. Plus, I don't really drop shot people, so the back buttons, it's like, why would I want that, you know? But I don't know. Do you guys use back button controllers? What do you use? I do kind of like this bolter. Okay, clearly we're supposed to go here. Let's go here. I like that there's... Oh. Whoops. I do like that there's different paths. So we're clearly in like a manufactorum, right? With all the cogs and stuff. That's been infiltrated by the uh, Gene Stealer cult. Which is cool. You know what? And I wish I knew more about them. That looks like that should be a secret area. Um... Like, I'm assuming they're called gene stealers because they infiltrate and use human genes. But I don't know, do, like, the Tyranids have to use other people's genes to, like, I know they consume worlds and stuff, but they, do they need other genes to, like, propagate? Is it, like, if they don't, their, their stuff gets corrupted or something? I don't know. I love when he says that. One thing I was going to ask the last episode, too, was... 
words always sound very similar. I want to look up the voice actor and see if he's the same guy from all the movies and stuff. Because whoever he's doing it nails it. Like, absolutely nails it. This looks like an arena, but it's not. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, Gene Sealer. Come on, bitch! I do like the bolt here. It's heavy hitting. See how I jumped there? My aim? Maybe that's just my stick. Maybe I'm too hard on the thumbsticks. Leave me alone, Gene Stealer! You don't want none of my jeans. I'm a dirty fungus. Oh, you ran away. Ah! I thought like we messed them up and the jeans killed the jeans, the patriarch, so there were none more. They're all running away and now they're like, okay. I don't know. Red! You know, it's just insulting me now with the hat comments. Because I can't even put the hat on. I'm sure glad I didn't have to run around the whole level. And escape falling things. I hate stuff like that. I know they're set pieces. Good set piece is hard to make sometimes. Why is there a barrel there? Does it unlock something? Nope, just a barrel. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, mess that up. Like, if you can make a good set piece, oh, that's what gaming is all about, right? Like, that's what made the early Call of Duties and all that just fantastic. Sometimes it just feels forced. Here we go, kill them all. Oh no, two gene stealers. I don't use my grenades enough. Why do they have one health pool though? The only game I could play on this too is uh, Double Trouble. Not Double Trouble. Bubble Trouble. Remember that bubble game? You guys might be too young. Double Bubble? Something like that. Bubble Bubble? Is it like... Oh my god. <laughs> Love it. Uh, no, I can play Space Hulk. I think I own that on this if you guys are interested. Space Hulk, like... It's like adapted from a board game. You can take a look at it. Um, <laughs> just throw a grenade at his back. Yes, he's fighting other people. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, we're back. Fighting real humies. Oh, that guy's got a shield. I do not care for that. Nope, look the other way. I'm not here. Oh god, I love the free rag golf is it? You should look into who you get did the soundtrack too. There we go. Uh, yeah, Space Hulk wouldn't be bad. It's kind of a slower, strategic type game. Unless you're talking about Deathwing. Which is... I would love to play, but you need like four people to play. Because, uh... Like, recording on the computer is good, but it's just, there's something so simple about being able to sit down on a couch and just, uh, 
just record, put your headset on. I know the audio quality is not as good for you guys. Uh, like, is it noticeable? Can you tell which games I'm playing on PlayStation, which games I'm playing on? Uh, like, audio-wise, I mean, I don't mean like... Uh, can you tell the difference? Like, if you didn't know, what would you say sounds better? Because the computer, like I have to edit more. So then you edit it in DaVinci, and then it takes an hour to process or whatever, and then you have to... Ooh, let's look at the... You are impressive. Oh my god, that's amazing. You are emperor, like the emperor, and impressive. That's my favorite. On fire, fear not, request permission, <laughs> request permission to stop dropping the ball. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what this, that's what this world is about. So this world just is just... The uh, most unlucky world in the Imperium. Orcs, Tyranids. I don't know what else. Are you gonna come get me, little Skip Sniper? Little Sniper think he's gonna take a big bad orc like me? What is that? A picture? It's a picture of a Commissar Yarrick, maybe? Oh, I always shoot these guys. I don't mean to. So I think I did make a mistake on this game, playing it on easy, um, especially for the content. It should, guys, just stop facing that way. Because um, I think these games, for them to be entertaining for you guys especially, they need to be um, challenging. Like right now, I'm just like, that is pretty boring, right? Or I don't know. Um, I'm not super engaged, but it is good mindless fun. And I do like the music. And I do love what they've done with like the comedy side of Warhammer and stuff. I think they've just they've nailed that one perfectly. Like making fun of the tuna. Because that's what orcs are. They're the cut to me, like they're this big existential threat, but they're really good when people can use the humor in them. Um because that's like, like they're, they're naturally like human. Oh, I didn't want to. Um, and sometimes when they're overly serious, like I know they're a big threat and stuff, but it just doesn't land, right? Like, purge the unclean, that's awesome. Um, just sometimes it doesn't land, I don't think. Interesting. Can I shoot that? Oh, I can't. Okay. How do I get in there? Can I do this? I'm crouched. I can't jump. Do I just suck at this game? Come on! Oh, whatever. Screw it. Oh, maybe I can... That's how it looks. Okay. Get the teeth. There we go. Purge the unclean with a hand washing sign? That's amazing. That's the kind of stuff I think is hilarious. Ooh, big waiver. Let's go down! Were we just here? We were just here. Why did we go that way? 
Oh, the leader opened something else? I will say, like, the day-to-day -day life of the average Imperial citizen just sounds terrible. Well, I'll probably open this door here. Oh, look, it's an Adeptus Sororithos. Sororithos? There's also colloquial, colloquialism, colloquial, colloquial. They're uh, referred to as the Sisters of Battle. They are incredibly insufferable in every single book I have ever read. Um, very sanctimonious, which I guess a lot of Warhammer is. <laughs> The Starborn comes. I wonder if that's we are all the children of the stars. That must be the high street, right? You would think. Ah! There we go. I actually have a friend that's quite good at these platformer type things. He keeps trying to get me into them. Not my thing. Like, I'm literally only playing this one because it's Warhammer. And I really thought the premise was cool. Burn all you. Give me that. Up we go. There's another Tyranid statue. So these guys have infiltrated for a while. I hope I don't ever fight another Patriarch like, time. Also, wasn't last time the Patriarch... Like, the boss battle was like right after... Another boss battle, wasn't it? I can't remember. I think it was. That was a lot. But I was happy for it, because... I like the cutscenes. The cutscenes have been the best part of this game so far. Get some teeth. So much money I have. Or teeth, sorry. Gene Steeler fighting the Ogren. There we go. that wheel it's over here oh we went over two okay yeah a space folk wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad idea can I get up there how would I get into there I don't know But we'll see. Eventually there's gonna be so many uh oh I gotta drop down. Eventually there's gonna be so many Warhammer games I'm not gonna be able to keep up. Thief! Oh this is where we're supposed to go. Another shrine to the Gene Steeler cult. Interesting. Or maybe this is why we were drawn to the world. I can't remember in the intro, were we drawn to the world because of the fighting? Maybe. That's a new guy, isn't it? Looks very similar to a commissar with his shield. Might just be like a Lord General militant or something. Yeah, we're okay with what we got. Sentinel patrols Z of three. Oh, it's a sentinel? That's cool. Uh, 
Kill. But also, like, I fought a Blame, blame Blade earlier. This rocket launcher is awesome. And now I'm fighting a Sentinel, like... That's a weird looking death threat. That's funny. I know you can't see the... Trophies and stuff, sorry. So a death dread is pretty much their, ver their version of a small walker. Um, so we just killed one. Keep it going. Ooh, music changed. Love it. Um, 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 um. Oh, what is that guy? Those were last gun right there. Let's see. No. I need that guy. No, I can't. Take it down. Why does it take so long to get the last? Probably because you so you can't do it fast, but... Kill them all, okay. Sanctum Administratum. Sapientum a Sapientia. That's Golf Arena. Wonder what that says. Grab this too. I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Oh, it's Big Marine! An Intus- Oh, it's a Primaris, too. Oh, they're White Scars. I think they're White Scars. That guy's an Assault Marine. I think Intercessors are Primaris, aren't they not? I don't know much about the, uh... The new guys. I have a whole Battle Force upstairs that I have never even opened. The Indominus, uh box with the Necron. And someone I've gotten out of that I wish I could have time to get into is the, uh, more of the, uh, painting. I used to like doing that. I'm not very good at it, but it's just a really neat calming experience to sit there and, and paint for an hour or whatever. It used to take me about an hour to do a basic space paint. Like, and that's without, like, the shading and stuff after just the base coat. Um, but it was fun. But I will say I did not enjoy the new rules when I played at Tempestus. I don't know who they are. They've they got to be IG though, right? Um, yeah, I used to love the rules with the Blast templates and stuff, and now they're gone. And um, The last match I played, I was not having fun at all. Now, to be fair, I was facing the uh, with Death Guard, and they just like cyphered me to death, or he did at least. Which the tabletop's interesting because you have to like trust the person you're playing against knows the rules, and I trust him. like the guy I was playing with, buddy. He wouldn't be like telling me, would not tell me the truth. But I like the music. Um, but it's like, oh, I can do this, and you're like, oh my god, I didn't know you could do this, and. You're Crazy. Kill saw. If he needs guns and he can just take a saw to their chest. I don't want to get close enough for that. Let's look at the hats. See like target hat. See I buy it and then how do I equip it? Because I can't even look at it again. And it's definitely not in loadout, I don't think. No, it's not. Disappointing. Also, I wonder how much funner this would be, or more fun this would be, multiplayer. Because there's the press X to join stuff, right? It's something to consider. So I think next boss we face will be the last one. This episode's getting pretty long already.
Can you imagine this game co-op with your friends, but with friendly fire on? It would be infuriating. It's also really cool that, like... Um... That, um... Like, this game, when I grew up, would be an unbelievable accomplishment. And now it's like... This, like, side game, you know, that, like, probably took people years of their lives to make. And people are... And it's kind of like, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's like, I would... Uh, I feel so bad for game developers. When all of a sudden they're like, too squeaky. Um... People just, like, you work for years on something and it's not great, like... Oh, you know what I mean? Like, and people are so rude to them, like... Sometimes gaming talent fan, like, it's toxic. No, there's a difference between, like, legitimate concerns, like... If they release a game buggy, they're doing that on purpose, things like that. Um, I'm actually quite happy with I was looking forward to playing Sons of the Forest. Um, but I, they didn't think it was ready, like it was supposed to come out on February 23rd. So what they're doing is releasing it in early access instead. Which, you know what, I'm okay with. Like, that's, um, that's kind of taking responsibility, you know? Like, you know, hey, this game, we're gonna release it. But then again, the whole early access thing. I'm not a fan of that, like, it seems like a cop-out, you know? Like, like, release your game. But obviously, I don't know much about game development, just what I've seen in documentaries and stuff. Alright. I hope we get a cutscene boss soon. This is, like, I really like this music. Oh, it wants me to go in there. Something's gonna break out of there. I do like that I'm knocking on the door and I'm fighting a chaplain. That's pretty sweet. I think we gotta go to the shotgun here though, eh? I'm gonna die again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look how close I was. I kind of lost focus there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. That shotgun's good, but it's just... Oh, it doesn't put enough enough damage down range, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta be right next to him. Okay, let's go, Chaplin. So, I guess I could talk about the white scars a bit. Um, modeled after the, uh, uh, the Mongols, Genghis Khan, things like that. Really cool, they done a lot, like not one of the most popular ones, for sure, you get some help there. But really cool arc in um, Horus Heresy, especially with Jagatai, Jagatai, Jagatai Khan, who's their prime arc. Um, really cool arc in uh, 
Force Heresy with him and Mortorion. Really cool. Um, this is super interesting Primarch, right? Uh, they focus a lot about mobility, uh, jet bikes, things like that, which makes sense because if you know the Mongol history. Um, that's the, uh, that's what, how they did it, how they beat their, the, uh, their enemies. Still no cutscene boss though. Disappointing. I like those cutscene bosses. Okay, first time mentioning Gork. I think, maybe. Gork is one of the two uh, orc gods, Gork and Mork. I don't know much about them, um, but they worship them. Oh, another kill them all. I'd love to know where all my other fellow orcs are. Because we're on a wall. There we go. Another white star. Come on, one. Like, having this many kills, space ring kills, I should be a war boss by now. I kinda am though, aren't I? I like this music though. Music be banging, fam. With the organ and stuff? That's kinda why I like... Uh, metal music, because it incorporates almost a... Oh, I don't want to fight that yet. Okay, uh, we're going to end it here. Thanks for joining us, everybody. That's about half an hour. Hope you've been enjoying Shoot His Blood and Teeth. Uh, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Teach Plays, and class dismissed.